Hello and welcome. I hope you guys and girls are well and enjoying your day. What have you up to? Right, uh, I've got this, which is the International 9,300? 9, 9, wrong key. No, wrong key. 9,000... Let me have a look. Diagnostics. Yeah, 9,300. Um, or 93,000 or whatever it is. Anyway, um, I will leave links down below for you guys and girls. Have a look at this uh, truck and have a go of it for yourself. Um, here comes the, uh, the, uh, the parental guidance warning, so to speak, or um, the normal spiel that I bring out. Um, you download this at your own risk. Um, if it may not work for your game, your your current version of the game that you're playing on, it may also corrupt another mod which you have in your mods list. Um, so do bear that in mind. If you are downloading this, you are downloading it. So it's at your own risk. I don't make this mod. I just reviews it. Anyway, like I say, I will leave links in the description down below for this, so you guys and girls can have a play of it and have a go of it yourself. Um, looking outside, the, the details are very good actually. It's just quickly jump back out, so you guys and girls, because I've fluttered around. Um, as you can see, you've got the bonnet catch there. It's quite cool. Um, the styles is very good. Um, I've got to change my number plate to the newer version, but a new amount of subscribers. It's a bit out of date again. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, Susie's all there. Or airlines will work. Um, the truck itself looks fairly good. There's a few little bits and pieces you probably could do with a bit of improvement, but other than that, it doesn't look too bad. Um, it's even got the... I think it's a combination of like modern versus retro look with a split screen. But it's got more of a modern like light configuration to it. Um, that's my personal thought. Um, let's quickly just jump on the inside so you guys and girls can have a look on the inside. And see the gauges? They're all pretty well detailed. The buttons are pretty well detailed. Uh, let's see if the brakes... Yeah, they all work. Um, yeah, they all work. Key work. Keeps can go to the first one. I don't know why it does that. Oh, it's because yeah. If I do that, I stop doing that. Yep, they all work. The lights pretty pretty decent interior actually. Very well done. Um Anyway, I'll show you where you where you find it once you have downloaded it and inst installed it. Uh, you will find it if I go to truck dealers and then go to mod authorized dealer, and you'll find it international there. It's customized configuration. You have two cab types: day sleep or day day cab and sleeper. And then you have the two configure, but it, it, it says six before on both, and they're both six before, and they're both the same length. The only thing different is the tanks, the way the tanks are set out. So it's depending where you want the tanks. If you want the additional step up, your tanks there, you're good. If you want to if you want to step on the actual tank with the steps, then you've got that option. It gives you more options around the back here as well for that configuration as well, like an extra box. Um, engine configurations, they're all the same type of engine. I don't know if they sound different as you go down, down, down the horsepower rating. If you go for the smallest, it might sound different to the largest. Um, I can only imagine they probably sound the same, but don't quote me on that. Gearbox configurations, you've got all the standard types. Internal configuration all you have it has light and then a dark um, configuration uh, so that's your only options 
uh, color configurations, all the standards, and additional these types like like a two tone sort of like going on there, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you've got obviously other types as well. Uh, for bumper configurations, you have those, you can put the other size load thing on there. You can change this configuration out as well. Then you've got the bumper types or full bar types, I should say. Grills. There's only one standard grill. I don't know if it's different from the day cab. You get a deflector as well. You do also get options to put little handlebars on, as well as the flags, if you wish. Um, it will work with the Rusty mod, if I choose the right thing. Um, if I go up, you see the Rusty wheels, so you can actually act add them if you can wish, so wish. Um, down here, different tank configurations, you can have it chromes. All the ones got handles, chromable. Uh, here is where it gets quite interesting. You can have like just a short little chrome trim on there. It's only when if you just have it that, all you get is these little. You can put the um, the side lights along the side there, and that's it. You can't do it along here. But if you don't, if I go back out here. here and then select the chrome option and then chrome extended then it gives you the options along the side which then you can have your own configuration however the light pattern you like it doesn't give you any defaults which is good um, you can you can't get rid of that box it's there whether you like it or not I don't know if you can add box on the other side maybe no it won't let you add another box the other side there's like a Looks like a bit of a glitch with the exhaust going through there. Um, that might be something the uh, other needs to address. Uh, but um, let's scoot back over this side. Uh, you've got two different types of mirrors: chrome, and then chrome with a little side mirror on the bottom. And then you've got two types of side mirror, if you so wish. Up on the top here, you have the two types of side sun visor, and then above that, you have the light configuration. It comes up with default, but you can just change it to whatever you like, you like, and whichever you like. Um, scooting up here, you can put a wind deflector on, and then you can also add your lights. There's two types, and it also does incorporate to a point the little fairy lights from the Christmas event. So this is a nice touch um, by the modder. Going into internal configurations, you have the two types of wheel and you can add your suicide knobs if you like, um, or suicide handles. Uh, it's got just the number plate there. And that's it. Up here, you can actually have the dangly danglies if you wish. It does work with your Steam DLC stuff as well. Um, and you can actually have little inflatable things sitting there if you wish. It does have a little cup holder here as well. So if I'm going over this really quickly, I'm trying to get this done as quickly as you can. Um, drink in there or a glass or whatever. Um, then you can have like stickers, extra stickers there. Like so. Or like so. Uh, you can also stick the little inflatable dinosaur there as well. Um, and that covers more or less the internal configurations and that can covers more or less everything about the truck. Let's come back out and let's fire it up. 
It's a bit of a quiet engine, if you ask me. Make sure I've got the... Oops. Try that again, Kev. Okay. Now I want to take it out of gear. I've got it in auto at the moment because I don't actually see a shifter on this, so I can figure it. Can, um, can I only imagine it's meant to be automatic. Uh, you can obviously drive it in manual. I will warn you though, I show you. I'll drive it in manual initially and then you can show it, see for yourself what happens with the, the power band. Did I just reset that? I may have just reset that, I don't know. We'll soon find out. Um, but anyway, put it into gear. So if I take it out of gear, it still has that. There we go. I know the parking brakes on, I've not got the clutch in. It jumps up from round about there to really quickly up to, then it bounces off the limit really quickly. I will show you, I'll drive this in manual initially and then go to automatic. Um, right. Uh, if you jump outside, it's very quiet. It seems louder inside the truck, and if you jump in the truck and then wind the window down, it has the lights of crank handle. That seems a better option for yourselves. Having that window open. Right. Let's try. Ooh. Might not be because that wasn't work on, so try that again. See what I mean? How it quickly goes through that, very quickly, jumps up through that 1000 to 2000 RPM really, really quick. So if it, make, it makes it awkward. Sorry if my track IR has been a bit derpy, it's trying to reset that. That's better. Um, it makes it really awkward for the, um, to try and float this. crazy again, bear a second, let me just adjust that, and adjust that, that should cure that hopefully, and then adjust that again, when it's going to... It's alright once you get into higher gears. Not really. It's green, so I'm going through. I don't think it was green, I see it. I've just got to find... Yeah, it's difficult to gauge. You do get the hang of it eventually, but it's very difficult to gauge if you just wind that wind up. And then put it back in all over. 
Because like I said, it's tricky to sort of like... Oh, wrong one. It's tricky... To judge it. And it, you will probably get... I'd, I'd probably get the hang of it. I've not driven this truck enough to sort of like get used to it. So if I drive it a bit longer, um, it probably... probably get used to it but I've only driven it very limited amount of miles that's the total miles I've probably done it probably a little bit more because that's the trip computer. I like the computer on this I'll try and demonstrate it for you in a sec look at a moment it's a little bit on the twitchy side admittedly but it might be because I have reset the few things also reference to sound, um, I, the, what I mentioned in the last Euro truck, and I may have mentioned it in this as well, that I noticed that my recording has a little cutting out thing. I just tweaked a few different options, um, reference to my recorder now. Um, so I'm hoping that may have fixed the issue. If it hasn't, then I will keep on not a great deal more I can do. I think it's CPU related. I think what happened was my XSplit was rendering it, uh, rendering the recording using the processor. I've sold it to use the GPU now. Weather-wise, been beautiful weather over the weekend. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed Easter as well. Happy Easter. Um, I didn't do any recording because of the weather. Um, I, was just, I was enjoying the sunshine. I suspect most of you guys and girls are probably doing the same thing. Getting out in that lovely, glorious sunshine. setting set to realistic no one ever came back to me in reference to that whether they want me to keep it that way or adjust it back to default or anything so I think it makes it a bit more um, more immersive as a game Jake is very quiet on this. Don't know if you guys can hear that. It's more like a more like an engine. It's more like a well not an engine brake as such or exhaust brake. It's more like a almost like a sort of like retarder sort of sound. I'll try and sort of like show you whilst looking where I'm going. Um, I was trying to look where I'm going, but I can't do it. I need two I need two hands and one hand's already got the wheel. What I'll do is I'll get off this junction and I'll 
pull over on this right side of the road and I'll show you. I was hoping we were going to go through a town to get to a set of red lights, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So I'll quickly put them on. I should have both my um, hazards on, but never mind. If I uh, zoom down there, that's the trip. If I reset that, it resets it to zero. Um, now if I press I, sorry, if I can't keep my head straight, if I press I, there's the actual, it says I've only done, oh, that's 10 hours. See, that's hours, which is quite a nice touch. Um, that's the RMPG, and that's, again, that's the total mileage I've done. So it's 406 I've done on this so far, and that's the trip. Which I quite like, I quite like that again, uh, about this. Picture for the thimble as well. Sorry, dude, if I've helped holding you up. Um, you may see one, you may not. I've only seen them in the town so far. I haven't seen them coming up alongside me on the highway. Um, keep right, keep and then exit on. right. the engine brake on and cruise control to do the rest. We'll get a picture in for the thimble. There. Uh, what am I looking for? Photo mode. Photo mode. I get a funny feeling I may have done something like this once before. It kind of feels familiar to me, but I looked through my history of stuff, my mods, previous mods, and unless I deleted it, I don't see ones that I've actually uninstalled or anything, uh, but I could be wrong. Um, so uh, forgive me in advance if this is like seems like rinse and repeat. Come on. I don't think so. I don't remember driving a truck like this, but I could be wrong. So much stuff going through my mind these days. It's hard to remember what I've done and what I haven't done. I 
I saw it and I was like, oh, this looks interesting. It's kind of a good combination of retro and modern. Doing roadworks. Oops, I've just hit the roadworks. This feels a bit wider than a conventional truck as well. I don't know what it is. It just feels a little bit wider because I seem to be either going well over here or well over the middle lane. Yeah, I'm hoping I've sorted this whole thing out of the sound thing now. As I said my X split was using because obviously X split for those people that know like they they're gonna say why just be quiet Kev, we know. But uh, for people that don't know, watch this and don't do recording of stuff. Um X split has a little obviously has the screen up what you're actually capturing so you can see in real time so I look over to there goes a bike yay um, you can, um, there's a funny glitch for them though on hills it looks really strange um, go straight on oh, a bit too quick around that corner Kev. anyway um, on my left hand screen um, my monitor was also my TV um, it has the XSplit running and it shows in real time what I, what you can guys and girls can see in the game now, what I can see in the game now. It shows in real time what it can see what's just going on at the same time. Um, I'll leave it around there. Straight on. the speed um, so in order it to show that it was using the CPU instead of the GPU to actually Yeah, so in order to show that image, it shows it using either GPU power or CPU power, and I had it using CPU power. I'm hoping by changing the settings now to GPU, that it's going to be a lot more better and it's not gonna be so intensive on my CPU it's gonna be more intensive on my on my graphics card though obviously um, that's the downside so bigger games it's gonna go Ooh, you, you're stretching me a bit but it, it, again hopefully it's fixed said issue if it hasn't then I don't know until I've done this recording and I go look at my edit editing software it hasn't actually fixed it, and you guys are sitting there going, well, it hasn't fixed it, Kev. I'll be out of options after that, unless I, I really can't be, I um, really can't justify buying a new computer at the moment. Uh, I've got too much other stuff going on, reference to not lashing out my savings on a new computer.
much more we got. It's not a great deal of distance. So I will complete this. It, sorry in advance if this has gone over our regular half hour. Um, but we are very close to the end now and it seems a bit mute to just quit now when we're just so close to the finish line. So I will continue driving on. I'll put the cruise control on again. Keep left. I need to stay in this. Don't go into the right hand now. Just fine in this line. Yes. Better there. No, I can't really see what's going on in front of me, which is never a good thing. Can I get roof cam? There's roof cam. It doesn't have roof cam. That's as close as you're going to get, is there? Tensions clear now. By the time I get over to that other lane, hopefully some kind soul is going to let me. I'm rolling back. Stick the parking brake on. Hopefully some kind soul is going to let me out. Is that dude going to let me turn into that lane? Yes, thank you very much. Turn left. Next step. Turn left. I was probably cutting that in a bit too soon here, but. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Just stop at the stop sign. coming. I knew that was coming. Get ready. As soon as I saw him drive in, and I was like, uh, I'm committed now, it's not a great deal I can do. Could have stopped, Turn I left. guess. That would have probably been the sensible thing to do. Oh well. It, oh, he's alright. He's not going to pull out in front of me. Right. right on red, although it is green. It's going red now. But we're already committed. The only thing I have noticed with this is that the steering turn on left. this, the turning circle, isn't great. Turn left. There's a bike. Yay. Hang on, let's test. Yeah, that's just for like, like, for like, for like, for like, on my wheel, so that is fine. Settings are fine. You have arrived at your destination. Your route guide is now finished. Now, where are you wanting it? Around the back, I guess. Yeah, I only see more of the bikes in the towns and the cities. Is it over here? According to that map thing it is, but I don't know oh, it's there. I see it now. So I need to be over there a bit more. Right. 
Open the window. Put it in reverse. I don't really want to make that. I might have to cheat cam a bit. Oops, just hit the cardboard box. Yeah, I'm not going to make that. Not in a million years. I might have to. Go up that ramp slightly. Spin it round. Don't think that's a good idea, Kev. Let's. Can we spin this round in this gap? It's going to be tight on the lines, but I think we can. Just give me a bit more wiggle room if I can spin it around in here. You gonna clear that? Yes. You shouldn't really jackknife your truck like this, boys and girls. But you already know that. And you shouldn't do that either, but again, you already know that. Blind reverse, but I'll just cheat cam it. I've, this gives me a bit more space this way. If I had sort of like known exactly where that was, I'd have probably ahead of time. I'd have come in that other way and then scooted that round that other way. But never mind. It is what it is. This trailer doesn't want to spin, does it? It's going now. Come on, go in. <laughs> Clear the bikes. Can't see them though. Your trailer is not behaving, Mr. Trailer. You're not behaving the way you should, by sus you're supposed to. That's better. That's exactly where I want you to go. That'll do. Just straighten her up a little bit. Jump back in the cabin now. We're done. There we go. That'll do. Got right, engine on. Oh, the air brakes might be a get. Does it be do? Yeah, it should be. Um, right. Engine off. But go, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this episode. If you did, again, guys and girls, please feel free to like. If you didn't enjoy it for any reason, any reason at all, please feel free to dislike. Please leave comments down below either way, so at least then I can try to improve in the future. If you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this, guys and girls, please feel free to share. It helps me out a lot, and I don't mind you sharing. And if you're new to my channel and we'll see future episodes of this or anything else I'm working on please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bells and you're aware as soon as I upload a new video I'll see you in the next one TTFN <laughs>